What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So I haven't decided if I'm releasing this video yet. It depends on time. If this one comes out, I might not release this video, but I said I'm going to do it anyways because I've been following the 400 um, meter flat uh, races all season long. But there was still two runners that I follow all closely all season long. That's Natalia Kashmir and Anna Kill Basinsa, uh, who had a very good season, and also Leaky Clever um, was also in this race as well. So we're going to talk mainly about how they did, not really about the whole entire section, but I will go over the times and put my last thoughts about how this race went um, before we get to them. So let's go over the times real quick. So Mary Lady uh, Paulino from the Dominican Republic. It was a one-two from the Dominicans, man. A huge, huge finish for both of them, man. Paulino under 49 seconds flat. It was a new world record. It was a new world lead and a new personal best uh, for uh, Paulino. Uh, 48.99. She shattered her personal best of a 49.20. It's always great to see runners this time of the year when everybody's tired get a new personal best bro to even see records still being established around this time of year is amazing and she saved the best for last at the diamond league final man and then how about cofield you know 49.93 right you know behind her uh it was three all three of the ladies that ended up on the podium say the williams as well all ended up under 50 flat uh, set of Williams with a 49.98 and let me say let me say some Colfield Williams and Candace McLeod from Jamaica who finished in fourth for the 50.03 they were neck and neck for second place that was a great second this was probably one of the best second place runs of the day uh, that I was watching because they were neck and neck for second man all three ladies could have could have finished there but Colfield was the one that came out on top so a one two to the Dominicans congratulations for them uh, Cannon McLeod's teammate Stephanie McPherson was in last with a 52.32. Let's go to the Polish ladies. Natalia Kaczmarek beat Anna Kilbasinska with a 50.74. I thought she had a much better. This is the best race she's had that I've seen from her since the Europeans. Um, Kilbasinska still a pretty good number though, under 51 seconds flat. Uh, 50.93. Uh, Leaky Clever who I would like to, you know, she's more of a 200 runner and a great relay runner. Um, 400 isn't her best event, but she still uses it very well. And 51.55 uh, is nothing to cry about. She still beat Stephanie Ann McPherson, a world-class runner like that. Uh, obviously, in this race, it was on Shawnee Miller-Rebo um, in this. Um, but next year, they might be getting some competition if uh, – if M. Cabal and Cindy McLaughlin are part of this group, and maybe even Abby Steiner, we will see, man. But uh, let me talk about the, the Polish ladies and, uh, and Leaky Clever before I um, end this video. So, Natalia Kaczmarek, I thought she did very well today. Uh, I know she's been on the 50 flat, you know, when she was racing against Femke Cabal. Uh, but I, because she was looking a lot slower than this in the last couple of races I saw her in since the Europeans, I was very impressed with this one, especially beating her teammate, Kill Basinska, who was like not too far behind her with that 50.93. But um, I think Kashmir, who, you know, probably starting to get a little bit tired as well in her legs because she probably could have beat Candice McLeod in this race, to be honest with y'all, uh, or made it really close to set of Williams. Uh, refresh her legs. But I thought that she had a really good race. I thought she, she was a little bit better. Bit better um, a little bit back on track. Obviously, uh, her season best and personal best was a 49.86. We'll see if we if she can get back to that next season. Kilbin Sinska, I know, is someone who definitely runs in an indoor season. We'll see if she goes back there because I want to see if Kilbin Sinska can improve some things, even though she's like 28 right now. But I still want to see if she can improve on anything because um, she's definitely someone that's also capable of running a faster time. As well, not as fast as Natalia Kashmir, but she's definitely capable of doing that. And uh, Leaky Clever, who runs a little bit better than Kiel Basinska throughout her career. Um, you know, Leaky Clever, you know, she's a young lady. She's still very young, has to figure things out. Uh, maybe not quite as fast as some of these other ladies are, but um, I think if she continues to train well, she hasn't hit her peak in her career yet, which is what I'm really excited about with Leaky Clever. If she could just continue to work on some things, I think when um, 
I think she loses her stamina sometimes, and that's why I want to continue to see her in the 400, so that when she does the 200, she pretty much doesn't give out too much. But she needs faster starts because she gets behind these other ladies, like, really badly. Like, in this one, she I don't remember ever seeing her, like, in fifth place position in this race, so um, I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing it, but... Uh, Overall, I thought that this was a pretty decent season from all three ladies, especially the, I think the Kylie of Cashmere accomplished some things that she can look on and say, man, why am I not up there with the other ladies? Like, I can do it if I just concentrate. If I, if I do this, I can do it. Um, but go ahead and give this video a like, man. Hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you do in the suit. Um, any comments I got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. But uh, one thing I would like to see from Cash Merrick is join Leaky Clever in the 200 meters. I think Natalia could probably, with her legs too, she's built like um, Jenna Prandini and uh, Sharika Jackson, very long legs. I think she needs to see if she can do the 200, man. Because if she's not given a whole 400 meters, she doesn't have to give out at, towards the end. And I think she can finish with a decent time. I, like, I literally think Cashmere, if she tries this 200, we'll see if she ever tries it. But I think she can do way better than this, man. I think in the 200. So, let's see if her future is there, man. But um, nice season from all three ladies. I know they didn't finish high than, you know, where they should be. But um, I thought it was a pretty nice race, though, from all of them. Because I actually didn't expect any of them to actually race this fast. Like, if anything, I, I really thought... Catch American Kill Basinska was going to be closer to where Stephanie and McPherson was. I thought Leaky Clever was going to come flat out last. Like, I thought she was going to be closer to 53 seconds. So she got like a 51.55, which was amazing, man. But thank you guys for watching. After news, still like, let's do this.